A video that we add via the objects and animation screen will begin running from the start of our slide duration, irrespective of where the video keyframe is positioned. A still image doesn't react this way because they're not restricted like a video which has a video length. Now let's look at the problem we may see starting in the slide list. I have a couple of images for demo purposes here. The first of these has a 20 second slide duration. So let's open that up into the objects and animation screen. Now what I'd like to do here is to add my 10 second video clip, but as an inset to this still image. So that the still image is seen for the first 10 seconds and then the video appears and plays over the top of that still image for the final 10 seconds. To do that, I'm going to go to the bottom right corner, just click into the box to lose the selection on the still image, right click and I'm going to add the video. There it is. And as I said earlier, it's 10 seconds in length. Now what I'd like to do here is just to bring down the zoom. Maybe we'll go to the properties and we'll take a look at a border. Maybe something not quite as thick as that, something a little more delicate. And maybe even a drop shadow. Now where have I got the drop shadow here? I know there's one here, but my eyes are not falling on it. There it is way down below. So there we have the inset video. So what I need to do then is to bring this keyframe to more or less the 10 second point. It doesn't have to be absolutely precise, but something like that. Now in normal circumstances, this keyframe would need to be zero opacity because we don't want to see the video from when the slide duration starts at the extreme left until it gets to this point. Let me go to the animation for a moment. So this is what we want to achieve, but I'm going to leave the opacity full up just for a moment because I think it's going to be useful to see exactly what happens here. If I put my cursor back at the start, I'm going to press play and what we notice is the video plays straight away. So by the time it reaches the point we want it to start, the 10 seconds of video is already spent. So all we would see would be what appears to be a still image when in fact it's our video. To remedy this, we need to make sure the video is selected in the bottom right corner. We need to have the keyframe selected and in the properties tab, we need to come down to the offset command. There it is here. And in the area that controls the seconds, I just need to over type the value with 10. Now, if I put my cursor back at the start and press play, now we see a different thing. We've just told the software not to play the video until it gets to the keyframe. And of course, all we need to do following on from that is to fade the video on. So now with that keyframe remaining selected, we can go back to the animation and we can drop the opacity down. I'm going to click and drag to the left over the letter A until we get to zero. Right click just beside it and add another keyframe. 10, about a second and a half, that should do it. Tick the opacity, but here we want it to come back to 100%. Now I think we would benefit here with a full screen preview and we can see exactly what we've created. So within our 20 second slide duration, the first 10 seconds is taken up with the still image. But once we reach that keyframe and the offset kicks in, we can see the video which will play in its entirety. And it's important that the video doesn't come to a stop until it's fully removed from the screen. So anytime we're going to get creative with video in the objects and animation screen, 
We either need to ensure that our video has sufficient length to span our entire slide duration, but if not, we just use the video offset. I'll see you next time.